Hello. Will you help us let the town know that Nancy's innocent? I'm not fully convinced that's true. Plus, that's not how things work. But she is innocent. Then why is she in jail? Because she's been framed. Good question. <laughs> I've been working the crime beat here for a while, so I can safely say that people claim they've been framed all of the time. So far, not one has been able to prove it. That's why we need your help. I do the news, not charity. Plus, this is a good story. A heroine falls from grace, a once grateful town turns its back. The final clue is found. Listen to how good that is. I don't even have to try to make the story interesting. Aren't you worried about seeing justice done? No. We're a reporter. <laughs> if people Fair answer. about seeing justice done, I'd report on it. But they don't, so I don't. This game is just like a great microcosm of all the most like unethical people you could find. Like there's a cop, there's a reporter, there's a politician, there's an old man, <laughs> a bitter old man. And then there's like your high school bully. It's great. <laughs> what do you think of Nancy? On the record or off the record? Just honestly. So off the record then. I think she's in big trouble and way, way out of her depth. And on the record? Well, gosh, she's just another example of what makes this town so special. <laughs> We've got young promising detectives that fall from grace and get arrested for arson how special is that oh river heights can you tell me what happened at the fire are you asking me for my statement yes i already gave that to the police i'd just like to hear it from you we're asking everyone oh good luck with that <laughs> now let's get to brass tacks what's the real story with nancy drew she's not guilty it's not up to me to decide innocence or guilt. It's up to the public. Oh my god, I love... Um, Brenda's just so ambitious. She's a girl boss, you know? Actually, it's up to the courts. Officially, that's true. But the court of public opinion makes its verdict before the actual courts can even schedule a hearing. Guess which this one This isn't more? a witch trial, Brenda. <laughs> Were you writing a story about the fire? Writing? Yes, I was writing a story, and broadcasting, and webcasting, and macro and micro blogging. I own this story. She does it all. You know, she's a busy girl. Um, I have no idea what either macro blogging or micro blogging is. <laughs> Good for her. Are you going to continue reporting on the fire? If I didn't, I wouldn't be doing my job. The fire is the biggest thing to happen here since old man Crowley's will was found. Josiah Crowley. I need your help. I need to know Wait. everything you know. In Wait. my line of work, you have to work for the answers. If you want to talk to Wait. me, you're going to have to give me some good info about Nancy. Wait, like wait, stop talking, stop talking, stop talking. my dad always used to say, What are you going to do, cry about it? Wow. You ready to do this Does or Does everyone in this game have daddy issues? First, there's like Deirdre's parents who care more about money. There's Nancy, obviously, who has da daddy issues. Brenda, whose dad sounds kind of emotionally abusive, I gotta be honest. Um, what was I gonna say? Anyway, so her saying that bit about Josiah Crowley, I always kind of thought that Secret of the Old Clock was like a non-canon game, but... If it is canon, then the implications are insane. <laughs> like, was Nancy really there? Was she a a ancestor of this Nancy? Like, was she a time traveler? Oh, oh, was she just maybe she was just inspired by by real life history and did make it up like. Her interactive, you're breaking my brain. I'm taking you to court for putting a little crack in my brain. <laughs> that can't be good. Um, yeah, why not? Sure. It's now right. or never. Do your worst. Carpe the Who fuck out of the old town hall cetera, burned down. Don't know, don't care. Has Nancy always been interested in starting <laughs> fires, or is that a recent development? You didn't answer my question. So, you're reluctant to say... Probably not a recent She's thing, good. Then. She's Tell me good. About Nancy's dark side. What are you talking about? I'm talking about Nancy. Okay, my turn. Wait, you didn't let me ask a question. Yes, I did. You yeah, Nancy definitely has a dark side. About, she's committed many crimes Nancy. before this. Speaking Brenda. of Nancy, is it true that she's been known to skirt the law when she's on a case? <laughs> yes. No. <laughs> yes. So then she just flagrantly breaks the law. Good to know. <laughs> Stop. That's not what I said. 
I don't want to be She's interviewed. So I just quick. need to find out what's going on with Nancy. Okay, all right. I'll put the kid gloves back on. Everyone in this town is so shy. I'd kill for a little verbal sparring now and again. You gotta be primed and ready for the big time. And I get nothing That's here. That's a good So you're looking motto. to move on in your career? Yep. Believe it or not, this backwater burg doesn't cut it for me. I love Brenda, but if I were to talk to her in real life, she would make me cry within like two seconds. I'd be on the floor sobbing my poor little sensitive cancer heart out. She won't care about that, honestly. Have you turned up anything Let's on Let's gossip about Tony. I'd love to. That's the only thing that can make this story better. What do you mean? Tragedy? Government cover-up? Now that's a national story. I would kill for Tony to be wrapped up in Do you this. mean that literally, you Brenda? Would, would you really kill someone? My <laughs> sense tells me no. But my ratings say, please, please let it be her. Why? She looks all upstanding, but she's on the take. I mean, she just has to be. What do you know about Tony and the fire? I've got it on good authority that she was putting the squeeze on the police to take someone into custody. Didn't seem to care who took the fall as long as it happened fast. Did she push for Nancy to be arrested? Doubt she even gave it that much thought. She wanted the fire off her list and in yesterday's headlines on the double. See you later. Drop by if you've got any hot tips. Hot girl tip summer. <laughs> hot tip girl summer? There's something in there, maybe. Probably not, actually. I guess I'll just go drop off the key. From vroom. She could walk there. Like, that is an unnecessary use of your car. That's not teaching young girls a very good lesson about, uh, you know, being environmentally conscious. I like that Hi. she's added the River Heights police line in her context as Nancy. <laughs> oh, tell- yeah, okay, you know what, I'm not- I'm not here for idle chit-chat between pals, but I do want to know what Nancy thinks of Deirdre. What do you think of for Deirdre? For my fanfic. <laughs> I definitely don't trust her, but I don't know what Oh, come on, give me a bit more than that, Nancy. Do you think Deirdre could really be behind the fire? We can't discount her. She's been trying to bring me down for years. Disappointing. I'm turning the case over to you. I'll take it from here. Very slowly pivot. What if I just... Oh my god, they left... <laughs> they left it unlocked! They're like, yeah, Nancy, you get free roam to the PlayStation. We're not gonna even, uh, you know, leave somebody to keep an eye on you. And oh yeah, the door is unlocked. You can't leave now. Nancy, you literally could. No one is watching. She's, like, way too ethical for her own good. <laughs> what is that? Okay, hold on. I need, my, I need my glasses to see what the hell this is. Charles Cheeseburger Head says, Stay in shape by exercising and eating right. You are what you eat. Why is Charles Cheeseburger ha Head a cat? Um, also, Charles Cheeseburger Head is really fucking cool so you you know all charles cheeseburger head has taught me is that i should eat more cheeseburgers also hold on glasses coming back on i don't i don't see any cheese on that cheeseburger head more like charles lettuce burger head am i right her interactive can you please make that into merch At the very least a sticker I want just the, the inexplicable Charles Cheeseburger head poster on my wall. Cool. Like, li literally. Drew, are you kidding me? <laughs> oh, he you saw me. <laughs> he got me! Oopsie! Oopsie! Oopsie days! <laughs> I just wanted to get some fresh air, Chief McGinnis. Have a little smoke break, you know what I mean? I don't think he could see. Like, you know, his office is here, right? Here's the door. There's, like, no way he could see. There's no way. Unless he, like, chose that moment to come out of his, like, office. We could just wait for the right time. Like, Nancy could set something up to distract him. Like, I don't know. There's probably a toilet in here, right? She could, like, break the to clog the toilet. She could put, like, 
a police jacket down the toilet, clog the toilet, be like, oh no, Chief Beginnis, the washroom is flooding. The only toilet is flooding. This is real bad. You better better come check it out. And then while he's distracted by the clogged toilet, Nancy's a out of there. You know? You know what I'm saying? Well, let's play it your way, Nancy. Let's play the game your way. Okay, what is this? Computer password. Each row and column must have one number and only one selected. It can't use the same number twice. I really don't understand how passwords in the Nancy Drew universe are, like, often more a intellectual challenge, like a way of intellectually gatekeeping something rather than keeping something secure, you know? You have to be able to solve this puzzle to get in. <laughs> I, you know, it's like instead of, you know, putting a random selection of numbers, letters, and symbols, <laughs> it's like a, an intellectual I challenge. Find a way to listen to this. I really don't want to. I think things like that, the little audio files, like in Labyrinth of Lies as well, they just bring the game to kind of like a screeching halt for a while. They really break up the pace. Oh good, a puzzle. Intellectual challenge for a little old me. Right, we'll get to that phone. later. <laughs> oh my god. That's so funny. It's literally like what I was saying earlier about... <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, surely Chief McGinnis will let Nancy have her phone. I literally have it now. She also had a little biscuit in her pocket. I'm surprised there's, like, not a lot more things in her pockets. Like, if I know Nancy Drew, she's, like, shoved a whole, like, bookshop's worth of books in her pants. She's got a bunch of, like, random items that you wouldn't see the significance of. Like, she got some tissue strips. She's got some, like, duct tape. She's got, like, five different colored tokens, things like that. Like, she would not only have a dog biscuit, keys, her phone, and a lock picking kit in her pocket. Actually, I'm straight out shocked that she has a lock picking kit like since when does nancy bring a lock picking kit everywhere with her she should she should be doing that but she doesn't do that i really don't understand what this means but maybe i can brute force this puzzle eh wrong right that's right right it's all green <laughs> it's all green Okay, well, we'll come back to that. Okay, I think I can do the computer password, but I've actually forgotten what I'm supposed to do for right now. I think it's kind of like Sudoku, right? One number and only one selected can't use the name, say, number twice. Okay, it's ki kind of like Sudoku. Kind of. Sort of. Maybe. I think it's this. This one? So, like, if we have, like, a one here, a four here. Two oh, no, we need three somewhere. Maybe three, one, no, nope. four, okay, 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 no, I can, I can do this puzzle, I can do this puzzle, yeah, got it, got it, got it, what's in the recycling bin, nothing, Take it shark. Okay, we can't do that. Print sink. Can't do that. Hint hotline. We can't do that. Okay. <laughs> cool. Great. Good. So so glad I unlocked this. Did that. I love Nancy's like written herself a little to do list. Like she was she was inside the building while I was on fire and writing down. Wow. To do. Escape this burning building, and she goes to jail. For Immediately, first thing she does, write on her little to-do list, get out of jail. <laughs> Isn't this a thing you can put play media on? Is this not... Wait. How do I insert... Is this not... Oh, that's the lockpicking kit. Ha <laughs> ha, hee hee, tee hee hee hee. Can I just set them to autoplay? Please state your name. Okay, I'll be back. <laughs> Nancy Drew. Where were you when the fire broke out? Oh, I didn't play them all. Okay, well, I did put my contacts in. I'll go do another chore while this is playing, I guess. Finally done here. I'm gonna do the lock opening pick this thing. <laughs> and I'm going to use the walkthrough. 
because I'm not above that. <laughs> you thought I was better than that? No, no, no. I'm worse. There we go. He said, he said. what evidence the police have. Oh my god. N like, Nancy, you think this is going to help you out by breaking into confidential police evidence? <laughs> they seized gasoline. I need to find out what was really used to start the fire. Um, the following items were seized under the search warrant. Denim pants worn on previous day. They stole Nancy's pants? Uh, matchbook with matches. Also, denim pants. Those are jeans. Come on now. Iron nugget from Old Town Hall anvil display. Why was that taken? Teddy bear? Gasoline can. Accelerant traces were found upon clothes. Gasoline can is found behind empty cardboard boxes. Interesting. Oh, of course, Nancy's got her Titian hair. Five foot seven. Nancy's an Amazon. That makes me feel so small in comparison. Nancy would tower over me. Wait, bail $250,000? Just pocket change to Carson Drew, but dang, I don't know how much bail usually is, but that seems a lot for like petty arson. I don't know if I'm using petty like properly. The alarm wasn't working at the time of the fire. Whoa, suspicious. Well, maybe because someone turned it off. 1217 Anvil Way. Jesus Christ, get over the anvils. 911, it's your emergency. A fire! There's a fire! What is the address of the building? Old Town Hall, Anvil Way, from Tony. Oh, please, hurry, the fire is... <gasps> the windows just blew out. Oh my gosh, I think I see people up there. People? There's more than one person! Why did Tony hang up? More than one person? Ooh, the plot thickens. Check. Check. Did that. Wow! I've, I've done everything except get out of jail. I'm doing pretty good. And I th you know what? I think I can get out of jail. <laughs> right now. Are you kidding me? You cannot leave jail. Chief, chief, man, concept. man, give me, give me a break here. Can you put me on like house arrest, maybe? Chief, come on, it's your best buddy, Nancy. Okay, fine, fine. I'll just play some Candy Crush on my phone to pass the time. Oh, it's gotta, it's gotta be Shadow Ranch, doesn't it? It has to be. Yeah, yeah, I I think it's very strange that Nancy would have a random person as her backdrop, like Connie, a person she met like once and didn't really know that well as her like phone wallpaper. Like that's weird. No, I do like the vibrate. I, I also like the dolphins. That's very like early 2000s. Um, vibrate I like the most. Also, in theory, it will irritate a lot of people watching this video, um, which I do feel kind of bad about. Um, Daddy Drew, hello. I'm in jail, Daddy. Nancy, I just <laughs> got your message. Jail. Are you okay? Well, why didn't you call I'm me? I'm in jail, bitch? so things could be better. Still? Still, they're blaming Carson's me. Carson's a bit of an absent father. Hall. That doesn't make any sense. Why would they think you'd have anything to do with something like that? Maybe it stems from my daddy. Well, so far. <laughs> I'm dropping everything and I'm coming home. Yeah, I, I better hope be you are. Dad, you don't need to rush home all the yes, way from Australia. You do. I can take care of this myself. You're in I jail. just need a little help. Nancy, I've oh, always Nancy. thought you were very responsible, but this is not something you should try Maybe to do. Maybe Nancy prefers yourself. her dad to be an absent won't dad. Turn down help. That's my girl. I've got a lot of favors to call. It's like so we get along better right when now, we're not I'll the same. Room. <laughs> right now, I'm going to see if I can't get you out of jail. I'm going to make some calls. Keep me updated. Chief Will McGinnis do. is uh, honoring my my rich white girl privilege. Chief McGinnis, let me out of the holding cell. That's great news. But I can't. He didn't let me out of the jail. More though. conclusive proof that it wasn't me who I set can. the fire. It's a good start. I'm going you to hear there's a ham party happening, and I'm going to keep working on the case. Nancy, I know I don't have to remind you of this, but you have some careful. opinions on Daddy Drew, huh? Hot water if you impede the investigation in any way. 
I'll be careful. <laughs> I promise. Nancy says, having already broken into a police evidence locker in multiple ways uh, to, to read confidential police evidence. I should yeah. get going. It's fine. totally fine. Uh, Charles Cheeseburger Head, lend me your wisdom in this my hour of need. What are we going to do, Ham? <gasps> are you <laughs> Charles Hamburger Head? Hmm? You can't even see Ham. You're so unfortunate. I'm sorry. He's just off screen, hanging out, buying something on Etsy by the looks of it. Please, please don't make that order. <laughs> He's so chaotic when you give him a computer. Oh my god. He's like, turns on voice recognition. He starts a screen recording. He makes like a, a an error report to Microsoft. He is just an entity Hi. of chaos. I need a sample from Town Hall to test for possible accelerants. Mm. Okay, how do I do that? You'll need to figure find it out, George. With a lid. Do I have to do everything to myself? To the I can't bring myself out of that, jail, George. I bet you can find it if you look around. All right, check. Well, I got that. Example, Try to get a sample as close to the point of origin as possible. Conveniently, there was a, a free <laughs> container the at the antique started. store. It was right near the thermostat. We'll get it for you. Don't worry. The case report says that the town hall alarm was tampered with. Can you check it out? You got it. Your turn to take over. I'm on the case. Okay. Cool beans. Wait, we can get hints? Alright. We don't need hints, right, Kim? I have a feeling you have to be Ned to, go to explore the town hall. Maybe because he's really tall and can get in. I feel like George has definite, like, tall it's person energy. Come on, George. You've got to be at least six foot three. You really have to bite the bullet and play as Ned. I think we're going to have to use our secret weapon against Deirdre oh, if we want to get to God! the <laughs> You might be right. I'll talk to him. Ned? Is, I feel like calling Ned their secret weapon is, like, giving him too much credit. It's your turn. I'm on the case. Nancy has been in jail for a few hours. She also barely survived um, a fire yesterday, and she's finally going to call Ned. Just because she needs something from him. She didn't call him otherwise. Ned, it's Nancy. <laughs> Nancy, what's going on? How are you? He doesn't know. I'm all right for now. <laughs> I'm not going to be able to get out of here until I can prove that I'm not the one who set the fire. We'll do anything you need to help get you out. Anything? Anything? Ned, including I'm need your help with murder? <laughs> I need you to help us out with Deirdre. How so? You know how she's always flirting with you? Oh no, she's not. She's just nice. Right. Ned nice, is like but only ever to you. A that himbo strange? but without the attractive I'm a very part. Ned. I know you're right. It's just it's just a little weird. It's a lot weird, but this is a desperate time situation. What do you need me to do? Also, this is a terrible picture of Ned. It's very charm. unflattering. See what info you can pry out of that trademark sure Nickerson okay charm. Oh yeah, also, he's got the jail, charm of out. a stick Those of butter. Points. You got it. No, I'm sorry. That's also giving Ned too much credit. He's got the charm of a tub of margarine. I'm passing the case Why to you, Why are you Ned? opening YouTube music, Ned, Ham? Reporting what, for are you, duty. what are you going to listen to? He's listening to Delta Ray. I don't know what that is. Is that your favorite artist, Ham? My god, don't cast YouTube music, please. Oh, he's printing something. Don't print... You're so chaotic. He's listening to Morning Comes by Delta Ray. Why are you printing YouTube music? Why are you trying to save it as a PDF? My god. Little Lord of Chaos. So, we're Ned. Ooh. I, I like that Ned has all these backdrops for cases he had uh, zero involvement in and only heard secondhand accounts of from Nancy. It's gonna be a deception. Or it's gotta be the train. It's gotta be the train. That's rock music. Her interactive has a flawed idea of what rock music is. 
Of course, all of Ned's ringtones are obnoxious. <laughs> Naturally. Obnoxiously annoying, you could even say. Fine, we'll t take Duck Duck Goose. We did that. Got it. Got it. <laughs> Got it. Got it. I can't do this now. Can't do this now. I can't do this now. I love how they just recorded two lines for um, <laughs> all the other characters for the to-do list. Can't they have like a shared to-do list? Like, I I've already checked these things off as George. Let's go talk to Deirdre. Dee Dee. What's the scoop, Dee Dee? Of course, Ned has a boring black car, naturally. What's up? What do you think Brenda is up to? Shh, sorry, can't talk about this now. Suspect is on the move. Wait, false alarm. Suspect is just grabbing a snack. Suspect loves snacking. You're doing a great job, Bez. Also, like, now that I think about it, like, I do ship Nancy and Deirdre pretty hardcore, but Deirdre and Bess? Also pretty cute. We need some info from Tony. Can you take the lead since she likes you? You got it. Better not do anything interesting when I'm gone. How's the stakeout? Pretty good. I don't think she's on to me. On a related note, I have no idea what she's doing. No, I'm not gonna buy her ice cream. See ya. <laughs> you can buy yourself ice cream. I bet, I bet, I bet, like, Tony gives her ice cream for free. Also, Tony said her ice cream shop is going out of business. Maybe if she stopped giving Bess free ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> maybe that's the root of her problems. Alternatively, maybe that's why Bess keeps buying so much of her ice cream. She feels pity for Tony and is single-handedly trying to dig her out of the financial hole she's put herself in. Okay, Dee Dee, what's Ned, up, babe? How's it going? Hi, Deirdre. I'm fine. You certainly is. Are you joining me? Actually, I just need a little more information Ned, from you. this is Nancy's not how trouble. you flirt. <sighs> Ned Stiffer, that girl doesn't deserve you, but I'll help because I'm wonderful, right? You could yes, say that. you are, right. Deirdre. Because I did. Can you tell me about Alexi? What's everyone's deal with him lately? I don't really know much. Apparently, he was accused of some crime when he was younger. No one really trusts him now. What crime? I really don't know. Probably something creepy. <laughs> he does work in an antique shop. Oh yeah, there's something inherently creepy about an antique shop. Could you tell me about what happened at the fire? Please, it's really important. Nedger, I've been over this with everyone a million times. Please let me times. know your favorite Ned's I'm nickname this, that Deirdre says in this game. Of talking about that fire that I saw. Please, for me? Okay, for you. I was out jogging and, and she was, I saw the She fire. was definitely dressed in jogging gear. Yeah, I'm into all of that health stuff. <laughs> Big sip of milkshake. So then what happened? I saw a bunch of smoke. Brenda Carlton was there and the antiques guy. Nancy too. Did you notice anything strange? That's a negative. It's a health milkshake. Do you really think that Nancy was behind the fire? Don't know. But I do know it's looking pretty rough for her right now. Why were you at Town Hall at the time of the fire? I just was. You must just have been jogging there for a past it. What was just it? passing Fine. through. Fine, just stop giving me that desperate look. I can't handle it. I was following Nancy. What? I thought she was cheating since you guys were so far ahead. Why are you so obsessed so with Nancy, dear? Someone left for her. I intercepted it. It had a time and a place, so I went. Nothing happened. Do you still have the note? Yes, here. Did it come in that bag? Yeah. It was raining pretty hard that night. Whoever left it must have wanted to make sure it wouldn't get ruined. Um, Deirdre's obsession with Nancy and relentless flirting with Ned, her boyfriend, just smacks of internalized homophobia. She's displacing her feelings for Nancy and transferring them onto Ned because, you know, that's the normal straight girl thing to do. I bet her parents, who sound like assholes, <laughs> are homophobic. Also, she lives in a small town. Like, you're telling me the small town is not even just a wee bit homophobic? Sorry, like, I'm really... I, I, I really earnestly believe 
<laughs> that Deirdre is not straight. Ned. Words? What? Key. Yeah. Hard at work. I love her little cat sketch. Deirdre has many thoughts in her head, as you can see. <laughs> Setting storage room. Action. Tom the star and the holdout wall. See? Okay, Deirdre is just as good of a sleuth as Nancy. She's just too insecure about herself. She doesn't believe in herself enough. So she thinks she needs to, like, follow Nancy and copy, like, what Nancy's doing. Uh, to be, to be as good as her. And, and like, Nancy, I like Deirdre. Just believe in yourself, honey. I believe in you. Thanks. What do you think of Brenda? Seeing her makes me want to invest in hair salons and plastic surgery. You don't seem like a fan. Oh, I'm a huge fan of the whole Heights 9 news team. When news breaks, who will Wait. be boring about it? Ugh. I just sort of hate her. Why? She's just always so chipper. I hate it. Write down in your <laughs> notebook that I hate that. Any other reason? If, if uh, Brenda or no, Brenda shows up dead, uh, we know our number one suspects. Up. She dresses up and does hidden camera stings in these ridiculous outfits. Hey, didn't she dress up as Nancy once? I don't know. That's not normal behavior there. I wonder if like Deirdre's crack about the plastic surgery and hair do's. I can't remember exactly what it was. Is that supposed to be like, Brenda's not looking good? Or like, Brenda's looking so good for her age, whatever that is, because she's had lots of plastic surgery and hair do's. <laughs> Again, just a sign of Deirdre's insecurity that she doesn't think she's good enough, you know? But Deirdre, you're gorgeous, honey. I wish I was, like, Deirdre's older sister and I could, like, you know, encourage her and make her feel better about herself and gas her up. You're pretty competitive when it comes to Nancy. If you Internalized you homophobia! In I'll be honest. I'm enjoying it a little. Why? She's so perfect at everything. It's like, save a little for the rest of us. My parents are always bugging me. Why aren't you more like that Drew girl? She's in whatever stand, just save the blah 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 from the who cares. It See, gets poor old. Deirdre, her and parents anyway, are awful. Don't you think that I'd like to be all jet set, dashing across the globe and getting curses put on me, and meeting cute guys? Yeah, she, like, equal opportunities are important, you know? And look, like, even Deirdre's parents are unfairly, like, comparing her and putting these expectations on her to be more like Nancy. Let her be herself, you know? Like, I think that's part of the reason why she's so competitive with Nancy, but I do also think it's the internalized homophobia. And she's, like, you know, not, not really understanding the feelings going on in there. So it comes out as, like, she needs to be like Nancy when really she wants to date Nancy. That does sound exciting. Seriously. Nancy and Deirdre sleuthing partners when? I know that happened in like Midnight in Salem, but I mean it more like on a permanent basis. <laughs> what do you think about Tony? She's got a lot of pull in this town. Who knows what she could be trying to get away with. If Deirdre is not in Nancy Drew game 34, I'm going to scream. I want her to be like a regular, like the Hardy Boys and Bess and George, at least as like a phone contact. Like she's just, she's just so good. And she has such potential as a character, even if they don't make like her and Nancy being girlfriends canon, like fine, whatever. She's just like such an interesting character because she does ha have all this insecurity that she kind of lets out in unhealthy ways, but it does feel like she's getting some really good, like she's at the start of some really good character development. Like she was still kind of like a little sassy in Midnight in Salem, but like kind of by the end of it, she, you know, come to have some like realizations about herself and like come to be a bit nicer than Nancy. I don't know. She's just like such an interesting character. Like Nancy is like, I don't know, they, they make her a little bit more of like a nerd and socially awkward in these games, but she's still kind of like a, quite a like a, perfect girl you know like you can see why Deirdre kind of like is jealous of her to put it mildly whereas Deirdre has all these kind of like conflicts going inside and she's like not you know a perfect nice girl she's like mean um and I just think that's so much more interesting 
than a character who's just like Miss Nice Girl all the time, except when she's asking you about your dead mother, you know? <laughs> I don't know, I just love Deirdre, I think she's such a good character, and I want more of her. Ah, okay, there's my Deirdre rant. Apparently I have a rant about, uh, like, every character in this game. I just, I love so many of these characters. I love Bess, I just think she's so relatable. She's me. Um, I love George, and I hate how unappreciated she is in this game, that you can play the whole game without playing as George. Um, Ned I don't care about, obviously. But I do th I think his voice actor is awesome. I think his voice actor does a really good job, and he's got a very charming voice, and he does give Ned more personality than he deserves. <laughs> oh, that's so harsh! I'm sorry. Ned isn't... I was about to say Ned isn't that bad, but I don't know if I can bear to say it with, with a straight face. Um, <laughs> me being nice to Ned? Ew. Okay, so we gotta go to Nancy's place. Oh my god, of course the Drew home is this massive mansion. One of, like, the only two houses to have- Well, it's actually- this one is just, like, a cul-de-sac. It's, like, the only house in town to have its, like, unique, rounded driveway. Like, those old mansions in, like, old movies where people would, like, go to parties and, like, circle around the drive. They'd drop- you, the chauffeurs would drop the party goers off at the door and then circle back around and leave. Oh my god, they're so rich. They're stinking rich. Is George here? I thought George usually hung out here. Where is she? I want to see my girl. Let's get our fingerprinting kit. I feel like I've been quite unfocused. I need to focus up. Oh, I bet- Wait, I wonder if George had the key for this, but no. I don't know if she does. She had a few keys, but it wouldn't make sense that one of them was the key for that. Is it one of Nancy's? Oh, I bet it's one of Nancy's keys. Hello? <laughs> it's so obnoxious. Deirdre gave me a note. She said it was just like the one that led you to the fire. Kits and a okay, yeah, that's that's what it is. I'll put my keys in the drop box for you. <laughs> for you? you not, not for you. I'll take it from here. <laughs> for someone else. I Like I said, I'm not playing as Ned more, more than I have to. I don't want to spend any more time than I need to with that guy. No bonding time with Ned for me, thanks. There we go. And I also think it's time... Time for a snack. It's been a little while. Nancy needs to keep her energy up. Let's have some more delicious grape juice. Yum. Yum. She's just Yum. in ecstasy eating mm -hmm. these snacks, these nearly natural mm -hmm. chips. There it is. There's that delicious, delicious mm -hmm. grape juice. Keep Nancy regular. But let's call George. I want I want to give George a bigger role Hello. in this game. I'm going to single-handedly your turn to take over. make George I'm a on the major case. player in this game. You can tell that River Heights is like a rich person town. You can just tell. So I've really made this game into like a, a class thing. I'm really putting my politics into the video game. But come on, look at this place. Okay, uh, what am I doing? Oh, I'm going to Nancy's house. Whoa, Nancy's lifetime supply of Cocoa Kringles. Mm. Not mm. A, gonna be a lifetime is, supply with me that is, around. That is so good. I wonder if there's a, like is, a mm. award at the end for mm. eating Cocoa Kringles. It's very cow. Mm. I'm gonna start saying that. I'm gonna make that it's very so... cow cool. How did Nancy's matches end up here? Hmm. Cause she's getting ready to commit arson. I already have one. Okay, wait, where do I get the lock picking kits though? Is there just one? I could have sworn there's a lock picking kit for each of them as well, but maybe just one person. Oh, so that means I have to be Nancy again and oh oh no mm, oh god and then Oh, Ned has to have the fingerprint dusting kit because we need to be Ned to du Oh my god. I'm playing this so unoptimally right now. Hi. Oh, sh bye. What? Bye. Oh my. I, I actually called Ned. I'm so disappointed in myself. Hello? Ugh. 
It's your turn. I'll take it from here. Okay, so we need to put the lock picking kit in the drop box, but I also need to switch back to Ned, but but I'm not giving Ned the lock picking kit. I don't want him to be the one who has it. I think Bess might need it. So I think we'll let Bess have it, but we gotta be Ned for now because we gotta dust that thing for fingerprints. Hello. Hello. I need you to take over. Time to help Nancy. Time to help Nancy. Was he just like standing there idling when George came in, like pushed past him to get her fingerprinting kit? Mmm, yum. Mmm, yum. Mmm. Ooh, I didn't like that smacking, masticating noise. Mmm. Mmm. That's Mmm. Mmm. Mmm, yum. Mmm. Mmm, yum. Mmm. That is good. That is good. <laughs> Sounds surprised. I love mmm, yum. Mmm. That is good. Mmm, yum. <laughs> he sounds kind of surprised every time he eats one. He's like, oh, oh yeah, these things are good. Whoa. Okay, how do we fingerprint? I should try dusting these on the desk in Nancy's room. Okay, well. This looks like a good convenient. place to dust them. Okay, up. thank you, Ned. Nedger. I think Nedger's my favorite Ned nickname. Where, how, where, why? <laughs> Do I just, oh, oh, okay, I had to be, I had to wait. <laughs> Waiting. What? Okay, that looks like a print, if I ever saw one. Nailed it. Nailed it. <laughs> That's a win for Ned. <laughs> oh, you're so embarrassing, Ned. Is so embarrassing. I really hope that their relationship is one, you know, it's like a high, they're high school sweethearts right now, but I hope like Nancy matures a little and she's like making this amazing progress with her detecting career, world famous detective. And she comes to realize that she can do so much better than Ned. That, no, don't take it. Don't, don't take the. Put it back, put it back. I can't do this now. Are you, f I can't do this. No, now. I don't want, I don't I do want Ned to have it. I can't do this now. Oh. That's upsetting. That's very deeply upsetting. Ned's again just like a, the kind of guy who's like going nowhere. I'm the case over to again, you. peaked in high I'll school. Take it from here. Um, it's always like, oh, remember when I was the football champion in high school? But like now, it's just like working a boring dead end job, um, and is a boring dead end man. And Nancy's eventually like, whoa, you know, there's a real imbalance in our relationship. Makes you think. Makes you think about breaking up with Ned, you know what I'm saying? What am I doing? <laughs> I have so many thoughts, but so few, are that, few of them are about the actual game. Um, Ned, unfortunately, has the lockpicking kit. Maybe I need to stay as Ned. No, I got I I got the fingerprint. So we can put that in the little fingerprinting machine. I probably should wait until I have all the fingerprints though. Say la vie. Print sync. What do you, load sample? Thank you. Search. What? Oh, we. I guess we have to get more fingerprints. Fine, fine. Do I have to be Ned? I think I do because I need to go to the town hall. I forgot to do that. Oh, this endless character switching is very irritating. And again, I checked the partial fingerprint. Like it could have been a lot more Ned, elegant and smooth. There weren't any matches in the system. If we can get a match against one of the suspects, I might be able to get out. Can you find a way to get prints from everyone? Yes. Ned, we need to get Deirdre's fingerprint. See if you can distract her. Distract her? Maybe invite her out on a date. Anything so that we can get her fingerprint. Can do. Ned is so quick to agree to that. <laughs> it's, it's almost like he was just waiting for an opportunity to be unfaithful to Nancy, but with her permission, of course. That way it's not cheating. 
Your turn to take over. Ned, reporting for duty. More like a nerd reporting for duty, am I right? Okay, nerd. Let's do this. Okay, so we gotta go to the town hall. We gotta talk to Deirdre. I keep forgetting what I'm doing and what I need to do. Easy to believe, I think. I'm easily distracted. I can't get up there. It's really? too high. I thought he was tall. Oh. So I could have gone in as George. I'm a fool. Wow, Nancy I'm a was lucky foolish. to make it out unsinged. I'm a little clown. All right, so they took the anvil as evidence for some reason. The alarm has been turned off. <gasps> I'd better tell Nancy. The alarm has been turned I bet off. The point of origin is somewhere in this room. Looks like the fire started here. Better take a sample. But I don't have the vial. Fudge. I'm going to have to come back as George. This is, oh, this is very irritating to me. Well, let's go see Deirdre. And then we'll have to come back as George. I feel like I, I'm not really accomplishing a lot at the moment. I haven't done very much. We're not making a lot of good progress in this game. Okay, hey, Dee Dee. What's up? I was wondering if you... Yes? Maybe we could go grab some food together. Yes, I would like that. I can't go out like this. I'm going to have to go get ready. But you're out already. Oh, Nedwin, I know you're used to spending time with Nancy Drew, but not all girls are like that. Some of us find better ways to spend our time than playing detective. Some of us have multiple hobby hobbies, Ned. I know you might find this hard to believe. <laughs> but some of us girls um, have multifaceted personalities. Got you know? it. I see why Nancy likes this sort of thing. This is like <laughs> baby's detective kit. <laughs> <laughs> like, I feel like Ned's, like, got, like, you know those, like, toy cash registers or, like, babies and toddlers can pretend to be, like, a cashier, etc. This is, this is, like, Ned's version of, like, being a detective. He's got his little Fisher-Price fingerprinting kit and he's like, hm, I'm a detective just like Nancy. Oh my god, I'm, s I'm so mean. But I... I take much delight in being mean. Should we get Ned a little snack, you know? I feel I feel bad for bullying him so, him so much. Let's give him a, a delightful moon chunk ice cream. Homemade! Oh wait! I didn't realize she homemade it. I didn't read that when I was sassing Tony about ordering too much ice cream. But then she orders too much ingredients. Like, just don't order so much cheese. Cheese can get expensive. Bacon as well. I bet I could find a fingerprint on this. Oh. Okay, great. <laughs> Perfect. That's yes, thinking like it. a detective. Cool. But let's have some more ice cream. You know, not not everything has to be a detective thing. <laughs> what kind of ice cream do I want to torture Ned with? I feel like the... This might be controversial, but I feel like the bacon blast could actually be quite good. Like, you know, salty and sweet. It's got that maple swirl. I don't like bubblegum ice cream. Let's give him a bubblegum. Slurp. Slurp it up, baby. Slurp it up. Okay, we gotta get more fingerprints. We're just fingerprinting like mad now. I can actually see why people would go through this game without playing as George. It would save a lot of time, I think. If you just have to swap between two characters. Let's do more swap a lot. As a treat. He's one of the nicest, friendliest, both helpful guys I've ever met. Totally creeps me out. That is Elliot from Haunted Carousel talking about Harlan. I know that one. I got that reference. Okay. I was hoping Tony would maybe leave when I was doing that, but maybe not. Maybe she only leaves when you're best. I'm not sure. Okay. So you got to get fingerprints from Alexi and Brenda. My brain was just like, oh, sexy Alexi. No, he's not. He's really not. Greetings. I'm looking for a gift for my uncle. He's a real train buff. Is it me? Am I the uncle? Am now I Ned's uncle? I like. You got uncle it. Snuggly. I'm gonna go see what I got in the back. Just hold on. In the back. That's so strange. Why would he? Would he not have like all his stock out in the front? All like the that must have been wiped off. Oh, seems like a bad. Was that not a print? Um, 
bad business practice, you know? Yes, to not display all your stock. And it seems like he's saying he has some of his best stock kept in the back. Like, that's very bizarre. Metal polish. That stinks of a clue. What is this weird kink attire, Alexi? Can you explain that? You know what? Actually, I don't want to know. Oh, it's the jetpack from Haunting of Castle Moy. Last from the past. For years, the River Heights time capsule has been quiet. For years, the River Heights time capsule has been quietly hiding. I think it's supposed to say has been. Quietly hiding in the foundation of the historic town hall, patiently waiting to be opened. Um, can I talk to whoever wrote this article? Like, how did this get to print? That's a very obvious typo. Now with the Anvil Days Festival. Oh, it's multiple days. It's a whole festival. All about anvils and how great anvils are. It's just around the corner. The contents of the capsule are becoming the object of much speculation. We decided to head to St. Clair Elementary to ask the students what they thought might be in the time capsule. Um, Jamie says, I don't think a horse could be in there. <laughs> Maybe a drawing. It must not be important stuff if people didn't think they needed it. <laughs> Karen, age eight, do they have things that long ago? I think it's probably empty. I love these kids. Also, that's so funny. This is a recent newspaper, right? Cause I think today's newspaper, today's, was on the table in Nancy's house, and it was, like, August 18th. This is from, like four days ago and Alexi's already framed it put it up 